Okay. Okay. Um. Good morning, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. I'm Megan White. And I'm Caroline Lehman, and today we have some fantastic stuff to show you. Let's begin with a fantastic story told by our own Mr. Hanna. So we're taking a trip to Kansas City, Missouri, where over the winter there was a basketball game uh, where two teams were competing against each other, of course, and there were cheerleaders uh, on both sides there. The one difference in, in this particular game was one team had 12 cheerleaders and the other team only had one. For a number of reasons, she had some teammates that were sick and there was a reschedule, so there were a number of girls that weren't there. But what happened next was pretty impressive. The team of 12 decided to go across the court and communicate uh, kindly with the uh, cheerleader and asked if they could help her with her routine. And sure enough, at halftime, when the time came to do their dance and their performance, uh, both teams combined together to uh, make it okay. And for me, it's a bigger picture, right? We're looking at people, human beings, looking at one another in a kind way, in a way that allow for uh, all to feel comfortable and to grow. And so when you have an opportunity here at Hopkinton High School and you see someone alone, whether it be in a classroom or in the cafeteria, reach out and see whether or not you or some of your friends could give them a hand to just make their day a little bit easier. Wow, that was fantastic of those cheerleaders. HHS students, make sure you're always including everyone. That was a good one, but a great way to meet even more HHS students to include in on your everyday fun is go to tomorrow's game night. Oh, fantastic idea, Caroline. Let's hear from Be Free and the Hello Hillers about their game night. Hey, what's up? Looking for fun events at school? Have you heard about game night? It's going to be awesome. Trivia matches, board games, minute to win it challenges, an open mic for anyone to perform, and a Wii running on a big screen. The Hello Hillers and Be Free clubs are hosting. Hello Hillers is all about making new students feel welcome to HHS all year round. Be Free is about staying free from drugs and alcohol throughout high school. Two great clubs and an awesome night. Can't wait! Come to game night on April 6th in the HHS cafeteria from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll have a bunch of games and trivia with great prizes like merch from the Hiller store or a gift card. Don't miss out! Megan, you'll definitely see me there tomorrow night. Do you think that you could save me a seat? Of course! Everyone is welcome, so make sure you check it out. Up next, we have a fun segment with Mrs. Doran. Hi, we are in the administration's office, where today we are starting a new segment called What's Up With That? where we get students to give us questions that they want to hear the answers to from our own administrators. Today, we're with Mrs. Doran, the assistant to Mr. Bishop, our own principal. We have a great question for you today, Ms. Doran. Would you like to hear it? Fire away. Why can't students eat their lunch in the front of the school? What is up with that? I have no idea why students can't eat in the front of the building. Maybe we should ask Larry Keene. Look who I found, Larry Keene, janitor to the stars. Larry, why can't kids eat in the front of the building? The reason that they aren't supposedly allowed to eat in the front of the building is trashed food and it produces a lot of creatures. Kids like to eat during the day. It seems like all day. So it's safe to say that eating in areas other than the cafeteria is frowned upon. Would that be accurate? That would be accurate, but I'm not sure that it happens that way. Who knew we have such fun personalities in our administration office? Yes, I want more Mrs. Doran to be my new best friend, and let's hope she can get the lunch situation figured out for us. Finally, we have a fun question of the day for you all. We asked, what's one fear you have that most would find unusual? What is your most unusual fear? When, when people, people <laughs> Chase us! <laughs> Redo! Whales. Driving off of a bridge into the water. When people say they don't have money, that they'll never come back for the parking raffle. Going down on an escalator. Clementines. <laughs> Making the wrong choices and ruining my life. <laughs> Having to use pencils in math class. Growing up. Tall people. Ladybugs. <laughs> uh, haunted houses. Getting blood taken. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Squash. Ghosts. Ghosts. That sure was one of our most interesting QOTDs. Megan, what's one of your fears? I'm afraid that none of our viewers will go check out our web-only content for this week. That's so true. Go to hhs.today to see special web-only content every Thursday. This week we're revealing the full interview with Mrs. Greco. I think it's one of our best interviews yet. Hmm, I wonder who produced it. 
That is all we have for you today. Make sure to look us up on social media and go to our website at hhs.today to see previous episodes and even bloopers. We thank you for watching us here at HHS Today and we will see you next time.